Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. It is Friday, and if you saw the last one, you know that on Thursday, which was yesterday, I made a big old crock pot full of taco chicken, and to make that, I just put salsa, taco seasoning, and some chicken in the crock pot, and cooked it for like six hours on low, I think, and I still have all of this chicken. There's so much chicken. Um... Yeah, we're having quesadillas with the leftovers tonight. So these are the kids' plates. Mine's still cooking. We just put chicken and cheese in it. And then we've got some leftover rice, leftover beans, and some mashed up avocado with a little bit of salt and pepper. And yeah, I will probably have mine with some of the avocado as well. And probably some salsa on the side. And there's so much left. Like, I guess we're gonna eat this for lunch. I wonder if I can freeze this, but yeah, this is a seven cup container and this is the leftovers. I think I made entirely too much. I only made four chicken breasts thinking it would just be two nights of food and like maybe a lunch, but I probably should have only done two breasts because tacos, you don't put a lot of meat on a taco, but yeah. So we will be eating this for a while, but yeah. That's what's for dinner for Friday. Hey guys, it is Saturday and tonight for dinner we are having burgers. These are just regular beef burgers. Got some cheddar cheese on there, some lettuce and tomato, mayonnaise. At the bottom I've got some ketchup and some spicy brown mustard, which I've been loving on everything, especially like sandwiches at lunch, but hamburgers as well. And then we've got some french fries. These are the seasoned crispy fries from Walmart. They're really good. And some Bush's Original Baked Beans. That's what's for dinner for Saturday. Hey guys, it is Monday and tonight for dinner we are having crock pot smothered pork chops. These are really good and really easy to make. I will link the recipe down below. We've had it a couple times before. And you cook it in this like gravy and then I made some homemade mashed potatoes. We've got some green beans on the side, and that's what's for dinner for Monday. Yeah. Hey guys, it is Tuesday, and tonight for dinner we are having spaghetti and meatballs. I made some homemade meatballs. I baked them in the oven to make it super simple, and it's just a pound of ground beef, a pound of sausage, and then like some Italian seasoning, egg, bread crumbs, and Parmesan cheese. And then we are having it with some ragu spaghetti sauce, some regular spaghetti noodles, and then there's also some zoodles under there. You can kind of see. And then some garlic bread. And that is what's for dinner for Tuesday. Hey guys, it is Wednesday and tonight we are having meatball subs for dinner. We had a bunch of those leftover meatballs that I made last night and we thought it'd be good on meatball sub. So I've just got some mozzarella cheese melted on this little mini baguette and then some meatballs on there cut in half. And that is what's for dinner for Wednesday. Hey guys, it is Thursday and I have not been feeling well today. I woke up this morning and my throat hurt so bad. So I decided I wasn't cooking today. So Andy suggested Chinese food and I was like, heck yes, some egg drop soup will be great for me. So we got a big thing of that for me and the kids to split. We got some plain fried rice that me and the kids are splitting. Andy got some house fried rice and then we got a ton of chicken on a stick. So that is what we were having. Oh, and Andy also got wonton soup because that's his favorite. Yeah, that is what we are having tonight. Hoping to feel better tomorrow. And that wraps up this week's What's for Dinner. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!